super stoked day. Down in Bluff, um, about to head over for a mission on Stuart Island. We've got Dwayne here, he um, dives, works down here, lives down here. Sam Wild's come down to do some underwater footage for us, and yeah, I'm Tim, I'm from up in Nelson. And Stabie's asked us to take out one of their 2250 Ultra Center cabs, and uh, just yeah, basically 300 litre tank. They've given it for, to us for three days, <laughs> tank's full. We're just gonna do a mission around the island, see how we get on. Yeah, have some fun. Mm. Diving, fishing, hunting. Uh, Whitetail, definitely that's the, the main of this one and I guess, yeah, good feed of powers. Yeah, sort of the crayfish this time of year are a bit fewer and far between, eh? So, um, hopefully we can get one. Be keen on a feed. Well, live off what Stuart Island has to, has to offer, eh? <laughs> definitely don't want to ding it. It's not on the first day, anyway. Getting <laughs> our hunting permit. Yeah, sort of last minute realised we didn't have our permit sus, so we're just going out the harbour. Do a bit of ticket off. Um, oh, I've got it there. Have you got it? Yeah, look at that. Because most of the island's got hunting blocks that you've got to book uh, up to a year in advance. Um, but there's a certain pe uh, sort of area down down south where we're heading to where um, it's open zone, so anyone's allowed to head in there as long as you've got a dock permit. So it's a bit more remote and harder to get to than most of the other spots on the island. That's why they keep it open zone. Um, but yeah, it's lucky for us. It gives us a bit of, a bit of zone to hunt. Dwayne. Ah, uh, it's pretty Rash, handy. It? <laughs> Dwayne does a lot of commercial work down there, diving for kinners, powers, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, a bit of local knowledge is definitely going to help. He knows the, yeah, the little posies to um, pick the deer up. So probably most of this trip, instead of hunting them like we have um, in some of the shows and that, we're more going to cruise around the boat looking at clearings and uh, beaches and stuff like that until we spot an animal and then sneak in and either get close enough in the boat to shoot it or drop someone on shore and sneak around and have a crack. So, yeah, a bit different to the normal style but normally quite successful, so fingers crossed. Yeah, we're heading out in a bit of, bit of choppier stuff straight away. We know it's coming good for the next couple of days, so Friday, Saturday is going to be mint. We're heading out Thursday into a bit of chop. We're going to have to punch into it into the island, so yeah, might as well give this thing a bit of a thrashing on its first outing. We're, we're at a place called um, Edwards Island, which is just off Stewart Island. We're just going to drop anchor here and, and hope to catch a cod for dinner and then uh, our cameraman Sam is going to jump in and catch some powers for us. Oh, yeah, we've got some nice feed of cream powers for dinner as well. The good devil's mate, it's a good world. Good world going back. Tonight! She's chilly, eh? She's chilly. Bloody beautiful down there, though, eh? Trumpeter and stuff everywhere. Nice whiz. 
<laughs> no sharks. It's good. It's good. It's good feed, eh, Timmy? That'll feed us for tonight, eh? Me. Trumpet are beautiful. Oh, yeah. Butterfish. Tiriki. See some powers, eh? Yeah, go away. Yeah, just chuck a few on. Lucky for us, uh, got some mates in at Lords River for a couple of weeks, so um, yeah, the timing couldn't be more perfect. We've got a hut there we're allowed to stay in and for the night, so yeah, we'll call in and see them. They've got a roast on for us. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I cooking the first night, so, man. Yeah, so we're in a uh, nice sheltered little bay, a few clearings around. Timmy's got the binos out. Trying to find a deer, but not very successful at the moment. So we're just going to head around the corner from where we are, still on the main block. We'll, um, just check out a couple of little little beaches there. Uh, if we don't see anything, or if we do, we'll have a coffee after that, and yeah, and then mosey further down the coast into the into the open zone, and yeah, have a look at a few more spots down there. Hopefully, we'll pick up a deer this morning. Otherwise, it should be this afternoon around the other side. So it's pretty easy to stand here and glass. But also, um, yeah, being an alloy, we can just nose it up into the beach. So we just popped onto the sand there. We're probably going to get dropped off on the rocks here and just peek around the corner. There's a nice little clearing. So yeah, it's a really handy, handy boat for this sort of stuff. <laughs> Just 
having a quick brew and something to eat. And then uh, we'll just keep, yeah, mooching down the coast, checking out little clearings and stuff on the way, I suppose. So hopefully we can see something, but. Timmy's nominated himself to get in and get lunch. So he get in yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no luck this morning, though, boys. No, no, no. Nah. <laughs> It was 20 minutes to wake this guy up, get him out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> he stayed on the boat last it's night and uh, he said, oh no, I'll wake up all right. And we were there. Hey! He <laughs> <laughs> did park like 200 metres off shore. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 50 metres. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen one yet. Well, yeah. We're looking over the right clearing. Oh, Chichi, that was pretty fun, eh? So uh, we're right down the bottom of the island, most exposed sort of point really, isn't it? Most southern point of Stewart Island, and it's just getting rugged. pretty wild there, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Big rollers coming through, that's for sure. Big powerful waves. Yeah. It's nice to be in a boat like this, you feel pretty confident though, eh? Oh, handled it well, yeah, so, Chichi. You've got lots of power behind you, you throw yourself around. And... Good fun. Yeah. <laughs> What's, what, what, what's, what's just happened? Oh, I just shot a stag. Oh, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even speak. That's awesome. So, Doug here has just shot a nice buck off the uh, Stabby, uh, Stabby Craft 22 Ultra Cab. Yeah. 2250, is it? That's what they're made for. Yeah. Adventure with confidence, they reckon, eh? Just aiming at the front shoulder, that'll do. Uh, how good's that, eh? Yes. <laughs> plan came together. It worked out real well, so we're just kind of cruising along the coast. Dwayne tucked us into a little beach just up here. He spotted the animal, and we managed to just sneak on in. We got nice and calm enough for a shot. The footage is going to be quite shaky, but um, boom. Hit it, dropped it. Buck. Love it when a plan comes together. This is what we're here for, Stuart Island at its best. Yes! Out of the scope. Oh no, you think I was off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, drop down. Yeah, I wasn't sure we were going to see one tonight, but I've been here for a couple of hours. 
there are some marks on the beach, so fairly confident we might see something, but yeah, you know, you start doubting after a while. We've only really got one good night to hunt. So I was hoping, but yeah, I was starting to lose a bit of hope there. But no, he just turned up in the corner of the beach, so that's awesome. He's down, I saw him kicking legs just in the bush there, so he sort of kicked out uh, the front shoulder quite a bit. So um, he must be shot in the chest there somewhere, but his front leg's a bit broken too. Nah, that's awesome, good result. Now what we need is a crayfish to finish off, isn't it? Super stoked, eh? People have been doing a bit of target practice. I guess I must have got bored not seeing a deer, but we didn't need it today. So I was trying to figure out from over there how many marks there were, but um, yeah, a lot more than what I'd picked. Saw some long nose on them, eh? They're quite striking, all right. Sweet. The summer coat's gone, the summer coat's quite sort of ready. And you've got the winter coat just starting to come through, so the summer coat's fallen out. It's quite short still, but yeah, really nice in colour. So we spike her out, as we could see when I shot. I don't think he's going to grow into anything big. He's got a bit of age on him and he, he hasn't uh, grown any more points, so he's a good one to be shooting. Yeah, so white-tailed deer, as you can see, huge white tail, so acts like a flag and alarm, so um, warns his mates if uh, he's seen anything he thinks might be dangerous, so yeah, they just flip that up and it waves around like a flag. Um, yeah, you see it from miles away. It often takes your attention away, you're looking to try and see whether it's got any heat on it, and you end up just concentrating on the tail, so yeah, it really is quite strong. But nah, stoked with this one, he's gonna, gonna be very tasty. Boys have shot a buck! Boys! <laughs> What's this one? Oh, it's a 10-pointer. A 10, come on. <laughs> they got a four-pointer. Oh, it's a four-pointer buck. Awesome. It's been successful. Wow, well done. How'd Sam get on? Did you shoot one? Sammy missed a big boo. Oh, no, hey, Sammy just missed a doe. <laughs> doe? <laughs> we could have made it sound like a big buck, but we got it on camera, so we can't lie. <laughs> oh, he'll be gutted. Oh, he's crying. First white tail, Dougie. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, you did alright getting a four pointer for a start. Right, and he took three shots. And he took three shots. <laughs> oh, good. Sammy, what about you? Yeah, no, conservationist today, mate. Uh, let my deer walk. Oh, you let it walk? So I've uh, shot next to it. Shot next to shot it. Shot next to it? Yeah, wasn't big just, enough. Um, nah, nah. You just thought you'd give it a fright so it was cagey next time. Trophy yeah. hunter, mate. I can't go shooting <laughs> does when everybody's shooting bucks, you know? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, mate. Tomorrow you morning. You want some more? <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Oh, no. Was it a sitter? Oh, it was, you know, a much smaller target. Yeah. yeah way smaller than yours. Oh, was it? Yeah, real hard. <laughs> <laughs> How far away so was the it? rock that I was on was actually just balancing, so the rock itself was moving. Oh, yeah. yeah, which made it for a really hard shot. Um, I've got no excuses. I just passed it. <laughs> but, you just dumped it up. Can we just eat it? When, when's it ready? Oh. Well done, Chef. You good? Lovely. Well worth the effort. Mmm. <laughs> oh, she's 8 o'clock. Gets um, light pretty late down here, so yeah, we slept on the boats last night. It wasn't too bad, actually. Um, yeah. Quick coffee this morning and we're away. We're just going to spend the next couple of hours looking for a deer. Yeah, hopefully we can find one or two more. Sam's uh, going to try and redeem himself this morning. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, shoot up the coast. Hopefully get a crayfish and a bit more spearfishing before we get home. So, yeah, she's been a, been a ripper of a trip so far. We've got beautiful weather today. She's calm as, so yeah, it's going to be a nice trip home. Yeah, mate, the pressure's on. Fingers crossed we can find someone else, but yeah. 
It was great sleeping on the boat last night, but uh, definitely lost a bit of sleep thinking about the one I missed yesterday. We'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can find one. Gotta find it first, eh? What do you reckon there, mate? Oh. <laughs> Finally, redemption. Oh, redemption feels. Mate, sweet. So good. Sneaking along this beach. We thought we'd covered it, but a deer popped up, and sure enough, Dwayne dropped us off on the beach and sneaking along, sneaking along. Can't see it. Where's it going? Where's it gone? And we see a little flip of an air behind the rock right in front of us. Tim drags me back, and sure enough, line up. And we just kind of clicked that we were there, presented its shoulder, and boom, for Redemption. Oh man, white tail, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Make it look super graceful, mate. I used to laugh at all the fat boys, how they, how they looked at a wetsuit, now I'm one of them. <laughs> this is our job, but we do love it in between as well. There's nothing more fun than grabbing crayfish, eh? I'll claim it, but Dwayne actually caught it. Oh, oh yeah, smells good up here. Not bad. Yum. Top man shoe. Bloody good having someone cooking while you're doing. Couldn't be bloody cook if you didn't catch it. What are the bacon chips and bacon crayfish. chips and fresh crayfish and a bit of garlic aioli. <laughs> cheese slices, cheese. Don't get much better than that. Crayfish, chips, and bacon semi. Straight after a diet, beautiful. Sweet. How has been there for trip in the boys? It's been fun, eh? Well, it's it's three days, good. three bucks down. Semi got yeah. his first. Redemption. Redemption. <laughs> oh, felt so good. Yeah. It was worth not getting those those 
those for um, the back eight. Oh, definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. It's been awesome taking these stabies, eh? Um, yeah, made full use of them. Pretty awesome with the walk around, especially for the top of hunting we've been doing. Yeah, you, get to, you can utilise all the space in the boat, eh? Hey? Yeah. You, know, you can get right up the front of the bow and around. Yeah. Out the back, and there's heaps of space out by the motor as well. Get your gear on and off if you're going for a dive. Good dive yeah. platform, yeah. That's been made and certainly handled the seas, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've put it through his paces, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Definitely put it through his paces. And uh, we're about to again, so we're just going to smash over the straight Fovo back to Bluff, and that'll be us done. So, awesome. Yeah, nah, good work, boys. Jobs are good. Been made. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. when's, the, when's the next one? Uh, Stabby? <laughs> <laughs> Another model?